One of the things that when we were talking earlier downstairs, a story that I always like to tell, though, that came out of that period in the late 1970s when I was trying to convince IBM that we should do a micro-based machine. A fellow on my team by the name of Bob Wolfson introduced me to Ted Nelson, who was the son of Celeste Holmes. And Ted had this view of the world, which I thought was remarkable and that IBM should understand. So, you know, I brought him to a meeting in Atlanta. We had about a dozen IBMers all wearing ties. I'm the only one here wearing a tie, of course. That's a hangover. But Ted did the most amazing thing. He showed up without a tie, and he made a presentation with an overhead projector. There were no PCs, obviously, then. But the presentation were pictures of him retrieving data from computers in the middle of the jungle, retrieving data from computers on a beach. And his message was that where the industry was going was to a point where everyone could get any information they wanted or needed anywhere they were in the world at any time. And I'll tell you, that's natural today, but think of that back in 1978. And what he was saying was you should use that as a technique for evaluating any new developments to determine how important those developments are by just judging their contribution to that overall direction. And I thought that that's something that really struck me then and that I've always valued things with since then. Thank you.